Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's about time I finally popped in one of these videos. I've been telling you for a week or so I'm going to do one of these videos, and I've been just getting behind it. And nothing, no excuse, all right? But I did want to send this last video out before your speeches are due, all right? So one of the things I want you to make sure you do as you're getting ready to present your speech, number one, hopefully you've been using the sample outlines as a guide. Especially most recently, I sent you to one from Emily. Emily presented that one on Thursday, uh, and it was excellent. It really was a really good speech. Um, and again, she very easily cites her sources, organized her speech very well. Uh, but as you can see, it's only like a little over an, a page and a half of an outline, and still she had a, like a three-minute and 50-minute speech. So we're not talking about overcomplicating this process. That's the one thing students love to do is I got to overcomplicate it. I got to make it much harder than it really is. No, you don't. All right. Now, you organize that and then you go ahead and you present it. Now, of course, I still want you to record yourself and then upload it to a free YouTube account. Create that YouTube account if you haven't already. All right. Most of you have when you sent the informal speech about your favorite vacation, that kind of thing. Um, but I want you to do that. It just makes it much easier because I did have some students who didn't, who then sent me the video and it doesn't open up or it didn't send whatever the, you know, the process is. Uh, but the bottom line is you set up that free YouTube account, you record it on your device, upload it to YouTube, and then you send me the link. And it really is just so much easier. I don't know if you heard that. I had a little plow go by. Uh, I actually live in an area. This is um, Wednesday afternoon. It's about, what, 2.15 or so. Um, and in my area, uh, snow accumulated. It's most, mostly like slush that accumulated. Uh, but I guess they thought it was enough for the plows to come around. I think still today was just a, a yucky day, but I don't think it was anywhere near what they said it was going to be. But anyway, so. One of the things that I want to make sure you do is when you're recording your speech, number one, you have to be standing. You have to be standing. Nobody's delivering their speech from the front seat of their car or laying on their bed, all right, as some of those informal speeches came in, all right? You have to be standing. What I strongly recommend is that you stand in front of a table. One of the best places that you can deliver a speech is in your dining room your, or your parents' dining room. Okay, this way you can set the device up in the middle of the table. You have the table down in front of you to put down your outline because remember, you still have to make that eye contact. You still want to make sure you're engaging the audience. And this is especially true nowadays. Uh, and I love that a lot of you guys use nowadays. I don't usually use it, but since you guys use it a lot, especially nowadays, as this is going to become more and more of the norm where you're delivering speeches virally. Um, you know, one of the things that we're seeing a lot of is uh, businesses realizing now that the pandemic has pretty much wind, has wound down, uh, is that a lot of work did get done without people being in the office. Uh, and it looks like that once you get to that point where you've got your bachelor's degree and you get in your entry level position, uh, more than likely, you're going to have one of those jobs where you don't have to go in every day. And um, you could do your job like this, and that includes making presentations. So, you want to be standing, have a table or something in front of you so you can put your outline down there, but you also want to make uh, eye contact. Now, I also don't want you doing too much of what I'm actually doing. I don't like what I'm doing right now. And that is I have the desktop down and I'm it's kind of pointing up. What I usually do, as you guys know, is I try to lift the... Uh, whether it's my laptop or whatever device I'm using to record, and I have it lifted up, so I'm more at eye level. Unfortunately, I didn't go in today uh, because of the snow, and it wasn't that I couldn't drive. It's that in my town, we actually called for an early dismissal. So in case my daughter had to come home early, I had to be home. Um, and normally, I would have my device up probably about here, and then I would be looking eye level. You want to try to have it at eye level. Also, one of the things you might notice is you can see my face. All right. Make sure. And, and this is a difficult thing because this is something that if we were a face to face class, nobody has to worry about. And that's lighting. All right. One of the things that's tough is I got to be able to see your face. All right. 
some of you will deliver a speech and you'll record it and it's all shadow. So make sure I can see your face. So remember, when you're sending your speech in, make sure I can see you. Make sure that you know your topic. All right. Make sure your outline is complete. And what happens is when you send me the link to your video, I must have your full content outline also. Make sure you upload that into the same email. Same email. Same email. I have to say that because for two years that I've been teaching online since the uh, lockdown, students will send me their the link to their email or the, send me the link to their um, video and then in a separate email or a day later send me their full content outline. No, I want them both in the same email. Your full content outline, just like the one that Emily and Morell and Ashley did, those are the samples I sent you, your full content outline and your video. Same email. All right. Your speeches are due. I'm going to give you some time. Your speeches are due by Tuesday evening. Uh-oh. That's the phone. Hold on. We're going to talk to the wife. Hey, babe. Listen, uh, I'm actually, hold on, let me put you on speaker. Okay. All right, I got to call you back only because I'm in the middle of doing a video for my, my online class. Oh, I was just wondering how everything was up there. Okay, I'm going to tell you when I call you back. You are being recorded right now. Bye, bye. <laughs> All right, so, where was I? Oh, okay, so make sure that you're organized, cite your sources, but here's the most important thing. All right. Now, this is something that I actually strongly recommend to the face to face classes. Make sure you're watching your video after you record your speech. Watch it over. First off, you should practice your speech a couple of times in front of your camera. Watch it back. Make sure you're including what I'm looking for. Make sure you take out things that you know I don't like, like vocal interference. Um, uh, like, you know, whatever. Get those vocal interferences out. Then do a final recording, a polished recording, and then watch it over. Make sure it's a good one. What I can't stand is that when students send me, they record it once. They only do their speech once. They record it. They just send it to me. Never even looked at it. And I can't hear them. I've had students record speeches where there's a lawnmower going on outside or there's people talking in the background a dog is barking in their house during their speech and i can't hear what they're saying hello come on help me out here people because then when i give you the grade that you deserve that you earn for not polishing your speech you're like hey Eccles, why did i get such a bad grade well because i couldn't hear you over the dog barking or over the lawnmower because you were outside when you recorded your speech which I don't mind. If you're outside when you record your speech, just don't do it on like the busiest road. Like don't don't be standing like near Route 3 in East Rutherford, all right, uh, right by the stadium. And that's where you're recording your speech when I'm trying to listen to you and all I hear are cars, honking, trucks, planes that are landing at, at Newark Airport. So make sure after you record, you watch it over, make sure it looks good, and then you send it to me with your outline all right so i was getting to the, the the best part i'm sorry so your speeches are going to be due on tuesday night march 23rd or 22nd i'm sorry march 22nd that's the tuesday after spring break tuesday march 22nd at 8 p.m they have to be in my email box by that time now i'm giving you a lot of time to do this because I want to make sure you take the time to polish these speeches. Take the time to put that full content outline together. And I've given you great samples. See, I can talk till I'm blue in my face. I can make videos that are 40 minutes long. But why do that when I can show you what your fellow classmates have done? Emily is 19 years old. She just did that speech on Thursday. Look how good it came out and how simple and easy it was. All right. I'm giving you plenty of time, but I got to get them by 8 o'clock, Tuesday, March 22nd. All right? Good luck with your speeches. I look forward to them, and we'll talk to you soon.